Healer Girl is currently my favorite airing anime original. At a glance, it slumps into the type of shows I already enjoy, slice of life and its various configurations, particularly as a healing show. Bad puns aside, I do think the show takes a lot from Yashike, along with pushing its identity as a music show, since it's a music cull, which is something I've never really experienced in anime. All of this comes together with its other great elements. The production, the narrative, the charismatic cast members, there's a lot to think about, and I'll try my best to talk about it, so bear with me as I gush about Healer Girl. Yashike, or healing, originates from a wide trend of consumer items designed as transposable calm, or mood-regulating devices. And this includes art, like music or literature, with their own ways to induce relaxation or calm. While I wouldn't consider Healer Girl and Yashike in a traditional sense when it comes to anime, I think the way it handles itself still takes a lot from that mode of storytelling, and is what makes it so enjoyably pleasant. For me, an Yashike induces calm through presentation and story featuring a somber conflict and plot. For example, focusing on daily life and non-dramatic events. The tone is generally peaceful, with clear resolutions and relatively slower pacing. When I think about my weekly Healer Girl experience, it's filled with excitement and wonder as I'm led through unknown territory and spectacle with vigor and even darkness. It's incredibly extraordinary, yet it's relaxing. It's relaxing to tune in and be within its whimsical wayward world. And I think the world is what helps the most. Despite Healer Girl's world being unfamiliar, it does its best to be familiar. This is a world where singing can heal wounds, where when they sing, they see images, where this is a studied practice with research and no one bats an eye. That's the most important part. No one bats an eye. It's the same idea of an Iyashike's aesthetic of ambiguity, where there's intrigue but it's given in a familiar way. Roke uses the example of generic words, like mysterious, instead of strange or mystifying. Mysterious is as neutral as it gets. The same goes for Healer Girl, where the world, despite being mysterious, is quite neutral and nonchalant, creating familiarity. For example, healing is subbed perfectly, because they say it in English. There is no room for interpretation. This is even reinforced by one of the kids in the first episode who explains it isn't magic, which would imply all sorts of things. This isn't magic, it's healing. It's calming to know. It's a comfortable mystery. Even as we see it in more spectacular ways, it maintains that sense of calm, because the excitement and mystery is downplayed. It's acted out as if it's ordinary, and the daily lives of the characters aren't about exploring and attributing conflict in its unraveling. That's the other thing. There's a lot more to Healer Girl than this uncanny phenomena, and because of its comfortable mystery, we can get those other parts. But I'll get to that later. Healer Girl isn't concerned with an atmospheric presence. I mean, in the first episode, they save an old lady. In the next episode, they save a pregnant woman. Then they literally go to a hospital and aid in surgery. But these are tied to the healing, which makes it less intense. I have expectations for what will happen, and thus far, it hasn't been broken. And I can even expect the outcome since the show is so positive. I know they're gonna sing, they're gonna heal, and the conflict doesn't escalate even with the new and fresh situations. The show isn't Yashike by conventional standards, and it doesn't have to be to still feel so comforting and welcoming, allowing an audience to easily peer into what it has to offer while not being overbearing. I've been talking around it. This healing. This music. Cole. Healer Girl stood out to me for a few reasons. It's an original by Studio Freehertz, who for me has a good track record of them. It has healer in the title, so I can make puns. 
and it said that it would have music. I like music. I like music shows, so why not? What I didn't expect was that it's, okay, I'm not going to do it again, a musical. To be honest, I can't really call myself a musical fan because I haven't watched many. I've seen Grease, High School Musical, if you count Disney films. Okay, yeah, I'm an outsider, but it's not like I dislike them. I just haven't watched many, and I didn't realize how much I enjoyed musicals, especially in anime form. I don't think it's actually been done in anime either. Neither do the creators, who, despite having no equivalent, saw inspirations from other music shows like Macross and Symphogear, but they didn't want to blend the battles and songs in fear of seeming too familiar, and they didn't want to go the idol route for the same reason. The compromise was to use songs as an everyday occurrence, and as Irie speculated, it was a refreshing new approach. That's really cool. Seeing a creator realize their idea, pushing and reimagining what could exist in a genre, in fact, Yasuhiro Irie also has his own project, Halloween Pajama, which he also wants to be a musical. All this freedom and creativity really permeates through the screen and makes the created art so much more fun as it's palpable in narrative, setting, and visibly in animation. Many of the episodes have been solo key animated, directed, and storyboarded, and the production of the show seems put together. The most promising thing is how it maintains this week after week. But before I get ahead of myself, let's go back to musicals. What really sells the premise of Euler Girl is how the musical makes sense in the universe. They have to sing to progress plot, and so musical numbers are appropriate. In their daily lives, when they suddenly jump into song, like when they study for a test, the characters are training, and that's their job, to sing. It's something they're comfortable with that they can use to help them. So of course they're gonna sing. Even when side characters join, well, if the main cast instigates the singing, and these are little kids susceptible to having fun and messing around, it makes sense to have them sing along, acting like children. The music integrates into the story, to the emotional plot beats, to the way characters connect, it's more than a gimmick. Maybe that's just how all musicals are, I wouldn't know. But the way they've blended music into the story enhances the experience, and it really brings the team's concept alive. I've been mainly focused on the way the world functions, and the concept behind the project, but there's a lot more than just that, so this is gonna be a lightning round of sorts. With how the show is able to familiarize me into its world, I can then enjoy things like the show's absolute positivity. Even when the characters may dimp into a territory of darkness like in episode 5, they also steer away from it. Kana has a moment of apathy as one of her goals is solved unceremoniously, and she's a bit lost. But they don't lean into it. This is an incredibly poignant moment of characterization, but the show would rather move on to the next part of the episode with more brightness. This also applies to every major conflict where solutions are found and negative consequences are less prominent. But to maintain that positivity, we need an appropriate cast to match, and that's what Healer Girl has, a cast of wholesome friendships. Kana is an airhead type, but she's proactive and often leading. But because she is an airhead, we need people like Raimi to rein her in, and she does so very smugly. Raimi's aura of pride is very aggressive, and it shows whenever she's on screen, even when she isn't being prideful and just being frenetic. To balance her energy is Hibiki. She's the reliable mediator, but also has her own subtle brand of brilliance, like being really good at running, or getting really into horror movies when it was just for training. Basically, she's a mixture of understated humbleness and wild energy. All of this is to say, the characters complement each other well, and they all lean towards providing a positive watching experience, emphasizing fluff and optimism. Even when characters may dip in areas more poignant and melancholic emotions, there's always going to be that handy character balance, and so far, they've been consistent in pushing us back to that domain of lightness. But there's also stuff beyond characters. I really enjoyed the imagery during the healing process, which has a naturalistic tinge. When a song isn't going well, it's as if nature is crumbling away, which I think is a really cool visualization of how the process of healing and being mended is similar to the environment. 
There's also the exploration of medicine and science, how forms of medicine can be varied, and how we deal with that. Healing is licensed with conferences and research, but it's not traditional, so there's pushback. But how do we get things like this to coexist? There's many complications and avenues of how healing can function in society, and the show so far has continually added onto that. It's been great having these bits and pieces to digest alongside everything else. It's made the watching experience so rich. At the end of the day, Healer Girl is a very specific show. If you can't stand the musicals, it's going to be hard for me to say, please watch the show. Even if it has so much more beyond that, from the way it structures its world, to its characters, its brand of positivity, to all the small themes sprinkled in, it's still a musical. But I think the main thing that makes Hula Girl such a joy is seeing creators making something that they seem to really enjoy. There's a lot of spirit and cheerfulness in the show, and that's something I'm always down for regardless of genre. Maybe that's just who I am, and I gravitate towards that, but Hula Girl perfectly encaptures what I love about stories and media in general. It's just so fun. And that was the end of the video. I didn't expect I was going to make a Healer Girl video. I knew I liked the show, but I decided, hey, the show is really good. I want to talk about it. And I think uh, more people who don't know about it, you know, should know about it because it, it is a very cool show, um, even if it's not for everybody because it's a musical and all that. But yeah, thanks for watching as always. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.